Hello everyone, and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials. My name is Emil Sligers, I am a senior 3D environment artist, and I will be your tutor in this course. In this absolutely massive course, we will go over on how to create a large-scale game environment from start to finish. Now, one of the key points of this course is that this environment has been created in the brand new Unreal 5 engine, and also using the new versions of Substance 3D Designer and Substance Painter. Next to this, we will be doing our modeling in Maya 2022 and our sculpting in ZBrush. But we will also have a very quick bit of material rendering in Marmoset Toolback 4, although this is just a little bonus. This course will touch on so many topics that I feel like it is better to simply give you a list of some of the most important topics and workflows that we will cover. So here it goes. We will go over on how to do proper planning for a large environment like this. We will then go over on how to create a blockout scene that uses modular modeling workflows. We will also go over everything from basic modeling in Maya to UV unwrapping to optimizations and much more. And we will go over on how to utilize weighted normals to get a high poly feel without baking. We will also go over on how to sculpt meshes like pillars in ZBrush and how to use the high poly to low poly workflow to bake them down into game resolution. And we will go over on how to create flexible procedural materials using Substance Designer and how to create advanced shaders in Unreal Engine 5. We will then go over on how to paint masks in Substance Painter that will go along with the Unreal Engine 5 shaders that we have created. Next to this, we will also cover general level art in Unreal Engine 5 including object placement, landscape creation, foliage painting, composition and so much more. And I will show you how to use the new Unreal Engine 5 Lumen system for our lighting and post effects. Next to this we will also cover how to set up optimizations like level of details and texture streaming. And finally I will show you how to use the integrated Quixel bridge to add some quick extra props like statues to really push our scene to the next level. In general, we will cover every single thing that you need to know to create an environment like you see in the images here. This tutorial is almost entirely in real time, except for some very repetitive functions. We timelapse those. However, due to popular requests, I have also included those timelapse chapters as an untimelapse version, as like a little bonus. With a grand total of 32 plus hours of content, I am sure that there is something useful in here for everyone. At the end, you will have an understanding of a vast range of workflows that you need to become an environment artist. Due to the scale and difficulty of this environment, I do recommend that you already have a basic understanding of the programs mentioned. Now, I will leave it off here. I really hope that you are excited for this tutorial course, and I hope to see you soon. Once again, my name is Emil Sligas, and thanks for watching Fast Track Tutorials.